It's Saturday, May 21st, Preakness Saturday, and let's just get this out of the way right now. My pick in the Preakness was number five, Shackelford. I had 10 to win on him. My friend Jeff Nelson had 50 across the board, and as they came into the stretch, and they're into the stretch, and Shackelford on the outside, the leader, Astrology coming up the rail, Dead City, Animal Kingdom in the center of the track, and he's closing out at the end pole. Animal Kingdom has to get to Shackelford. It is Shackelford in front. Animal Kingdom on the outside is coming. On the inside, Astrology third. Shackelford, Animal Kingdom. Here's the wire. Shackelford holds on to the Preakness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He paid 27 20 Look at all this money. At five to win for Sweet Gina, she gets back 68. My little buddy Coleman, he gets back 68. Jeff, $1,105. Kim had the exacta, $114. I had 10 to win, I got back 136. What a way to end the day. Wow. Oh. Does that even, does that even compare to the 20? 20 winners I had on the day. Let's take a look at the day. Started off the day. I didn't cash a ticket at Calder until almost 2.30. It's about 2.30 on Saturday, May 21st. It's Preakness Day. And I just cashed my first ticket here at Calder on A Centurion. To the back of the back, but A Centurion on his game once again. A Centurion, wire to wire. Drive by medium with second. I'm off to a pretty good start. First race I bet was the third at Pimlico where I had Golden Causeway. Winner at six dollars. And then the second at Churchill, I had Reddy's Rock and I couldn't believe it went off five to one. Rocket still leads, but only half a length. Racing's the line. Reddy's Rocket with on the outside Red Rally. Reddy's Rocket wins! Reddy's Rocket! History is moving. Winner paid thirteen dollars. I got back over thirty-two. He's the first horse ever to win nine races over the Churchill's trip. Congratulations, Ladies Rocket. After that, at Belmont, I had Bold Warrior. Bold Warrior is two to five, and he's and third at Churchill. I had Le Mans, triple threat. Takes in second. The bragging rights tonight belong to Le Mans. Le Mans breaks his maiden and wins well. Le Mans in front. Much the best. Then at Arlington, I had number two, Huerta. Thought he'd go right to the lead. What a final half for long. Herta holding sway to Gold Legion and Lemon Custard out the rail. Herta. Herta and Seth Martinez. Herta left the wire. Wire to wire. Paid 440. Got back over 20. Then at Hollywood, I had $2 to win. Well, I had 10 to win on number one. $2 to win. Now she slings shots to the front. $2 to win is suddenly three in front and she's gone. Meritaggio is left back in second to the outside. First Queen's running a big one. Might get third. $2 to win. Easy again. And then I had a Centurion here at Calder. So that makes eight, eight winners so far. We're just getting started. What a great day. And I came back at Belmont and I hit my first big bet, almost my best bet of the day. Well, except for Preakness. When I had the Grade 3 Maryland Sprint, Ventana. My best bet of the day at Hollywood, I had St. Trinian's in the Grade 2 Milady. She won! Oh, but then. So I won the Grade 2 Milady handicap at Hollywood Park, only to have St. Trinian's disqualified. Oh, a triple the bet there. But I came right back, and I won five, four in a row. Four in a row. Maiden claiming a Belmont, Katie's hot, walked with it. The Grade 3 Shape from Memorial, stretch duel. I had number two apart on the outside. Into a battle in the final furlong, a battle of will between Uphart and Coliseo. Uphart's got a head in front as they approach the line. Uphart and Garrett Gomez to do it. Uphart's won it. Uphart by a neck. No, oh, so close, but he won. Came right back and scored in desperate photo at Churchill Downs. Paid seven dollars. I scored wire to wire at Monmouth. Just won the feature of Sir Success here at Culver. Omakaka. Had a great day. Sixteen wins so far. Woo! Then I came back and I had Patty Prado last on the turn, coming off a long layoff. And as it came down the stretch, Patty Prado has four lengths to make up with a furlong and a half to go. Barishnikov is reaching one for one on from the line. Patty Prado coming on the outside. Patty Prado overpowering Barishnikov. And it's Patty Prado and Kent DeSorbo. Patty Prado in the great two Dixie. Oh, another winner. Then
then my bet of the day was Awesome Maria. Looked like she was tons the best, but as they came into the stretch, she looked beaten. Nothing between them as they passed the eighth pole. Absent minded at the rail. Awesome Maria on the outside. That was 16th out. Absent minded. Awesome Maria. They're putting on quite a show in the shoe They come down for the line. It's a photo finish. Awesome Maria or absent minded. She wins. 50 to win, cashed again, scored again in the finale at Belmont, and then it was the Preakness. Oh, what a way to win the day. 20 wins on the day. It's been a huge day, and I still have three races to look at when I get home. Carol Smith won for the day. Jeff Nelson won for the day. Gina Nelson won for the day. Coleman Nelson won for the day. I'm sure they'll share with you, Chloe. And my wife Kim won for the day. Everybody's a winner on the Preakness card. Yeah, we're sixty dollars. Coleman gets sixty-eight. Woo! Yeah. 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 Yeah.